Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. I'm Bungle. I'm Lydia. And we're going to go through £250 worth of 50 pences, trying to find the rare and valuable ones, the ones that you can find in your change, hopefully ones that are worth more than the 50p that's stamped on them. See a little commemorative coin there. And uh, I need something for the book. So I'll tell you what we'll do, Lydia, and we'll open up this Nat West Bank bag from the 21st of the 8th, 24. We'll get that open. Like that. And then we'll take care of some administration from the last episode because I forgot to get the money boxes out and I found a Benjamin Bunny. So that Benjamin Bunny is going in my money box. If you haven't seen the last episode, then you absolutely need to see the last episode. Um, but spoiler ahead, just go forward a few seconds because it's going to, I'm going to reveal, uh, you'll be able to possibly tell what uh, Lady M or what I found for Lady M. My curse was broken in the last episode. And I thought, what we'll do is we'll just compare our books and see who's got what what. So if you're new round here, we hunt twice a week, 50p's, we've got a book each, we're trying to find one of every single commemorative coin, we're going to get it full by the end of the year, every hunt's exciting, every episode's exciting because every hunt's a treasure hunt. So there's our, there's our first pages and they look pretty similar except that I've got a, a Kew Gardens and Lady M doesn't. The second page, you might have to help me hold the middle there love. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, I'm ahead a little bit there. So Lady M needs four Olympics on there. I only need two. We've got too much detail because the spoiler was on that page. This one, I need three Olympics. Lady M needs quite a lot. So that's way behind, isn't it? With mm -hmm. that that kind of midsection of of, uh, of Olympics. Look, I only only need three. I need two on that page. Lady M needs three. Oh, that's interesting. We both need wrestling and triathlon, mm -hmm. probably because they are the top five Olympics or two of the top five that page is full i need a flopsy bunny on there lady m doesn't lady m's actually found three of them in total and i found nothing and then on the final page we've got them for there for commemorative so we have our we put our oddities and uh territories and things we find in the in the back as well and, and any swaps because i've got lots of spare olympics that lady m needs but uh hasn't got so anyway that's where the book are that's where we're at let's see if we can do something for, for this as well. Eh? Okay. Let's see whether we can add to it and get something for the pig as well with more Benjamin Bunnies because we'll add all them up at the end of the year as well. A year-long Benjamin Bunny coin hunt. Right, I'm straight into a commemorative coin. I've got the representation of the People Act. Nine million minted, only worth 50p. Not particular, well, not scarce, not desirable. Nice to find because it is, you know, it's the first find of the hunt and... It's a commemorative coin nonetheless, but not needed for the book. doesn't carry any particular value, and it's not really a favourite, is it? Uh, no. Not really something that floats the board. <clears throat> you know my theory that if you get two bags that are dated the same, mm. you tend to get similar coins in. <laughs> and it doesn't, you know, you could argue that doesn't really happen. No. But if it was ever going to happen... I'd want it to be Three in this hunt. Oh, yeah. without a doubt, because mm. this bag, the one that you left for me, I would love it. It's the same date as the last episode, and I would love it if we get similar finds there. That would uh, certainly make me uh, make me feel feel good. What do you think? What do you think the chances are of being able to replicate how good your last coin hunt was? Maybe I'm fairly slim, like. Zero to two. <laughs> Zero to 2% chance yeah. of it being that good. Yeah. Pretty much for mine to be that good, I'd have to pull out... Three Kew Gardens. No. Yes. I'd have, yeah, one Kew Gardens maybe, but yeah. also I'd have to pull out something that I needed, yeah. wouldn't I? I'd probably have to pull out, for it to be anywhere near as good, I'd have to pull out probably wrestling yeah. and triathlon. Mm -hmm. So I'm aiming high, <laughs> right. but that's what I'm going for. Right, there's a Queen Memorial coin. You must have had a Queen Memorial yes. coin, have you? Did you mention that? I didn't, did, I, didn't, yes. I didn't hear you mention it. I did. Because you talk so much, you don't uh, listen. Uh, true, true. This. It's not that I don't listen, I just don't hear. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure there's any difference in that. There is. The difference between not listening and then not being able to hear because you're chitter chattering, yes. chowdering, chowing on too much. Oh, 2017 shield there. I do wish these were worth a little bit more than what they are. Well, I've got a little bit of a mark on them. I might not keep that, but I'll inspect in natural light because we are under the magic studio lights. 
natural light shows it's true. It's true colours, as uh, Cindy Lauper would say. Mm -hmm. I see your true colours shining through. I don't know why song lyrics come to me when I, when, mm. when when we're doing these coin hunting because I'm not one for like singing generally, am I? Scroll up, Kim. You know, like round the house. Nope. Or just you know. So I wonder why I, when when I am singing, they, you know, I say something and then mm. a, a song lyric comes into my head, and I feel compelled to say something. Any idea? Uh, There's a dictionary. High mintage. Not desirable, not particularly interesting. Yeah. Team GB. Team G. What year is the Team GB, Lydia? Uh, I want to say 16. It is. But unofficial 50th anniversary coin. 50th, uh, 50th. Unofficial 30th Olympic coin. 29 in 2011, the 30th was in 2016. Right, he's a 2016. This could be a puddle duck, and this would go somewhere to matching Lady M's hunt from last week. Oh, there she blows! Wow. There she blows, Lady M! Hey, we are having the luck. The luck duck, the duck is bringing the luck. Wow. Flipping heck. They're two great bags. I say, I won't totally spoil what you got last week, but uh, flipping heck. Yeah. We've got a plum. Yeah. Hook a duck, can you believe the luck? Etc. Etc. Et and a pride as well. We will take pride in this hunt and the last hunt. Please do subscribe if uh, if you haven't already. You know, and put a like on the video and leave us a comment and all that type of thing. You know, interact with us. Be really grateful. You know, you may even share the video, spread the love. You know, if you unless you're a closet coin collector and you don't. Uh, you know what I mean? You don't like to share your coin collecting experiences with anybody else. That's fine. I mean, it's absolutely your prerogative. But if it isn't, tell a friend. See if you can get another. See if you can get another subscriber. There's Tom. Uh, that's Tom Kitten there. Eh? You could even say you can even get your friend to put something in the comments and say, "Hey, Bungle and Lady M, I'm here because of so and so." We could give you a shout out even. We could do shout shout outs. Do that, uh, yeah. Would you do shout outs for money? No. You wouldn't. Mm -hmm. Also, someone said I'll give you I'll give you two and a half quid if you two if you say I don't know quid. Andy Green's a sex machine. Would you do Would you do that? The two pound because he would definitely give you two pound fifty if you were to say would. that. <laughs> so you wouldn't do it. Oh, well, I, I wouldn't need Peyton to shout people out. All oh, right. Okay. Probably shout Andy Green's a sex machine. Andy Green's a sex machine? <laughs> oh my goodness me. That's it. Now we'll be turning up. Mm -hmm. There's another Brexit. Yeah, I thought we'd had one. Yeah. Did you find it on me? I did. There's a 17 Shield. I think she's got a bit of a line across the face, but I'll leave that for you to have Okay, a darling. Up. Okay, darling. There's a Diversity. There's another Pride. Another Brexit. From 2022. Excuse me. Thank you. Hey, some luck that. Some luck. I hope this continues. We'll be, we'll be millionaires if this continues. Mm. <laughs> it certainly uh, paid for the bank charges this week, love. Uh, yeah. That's for sure. I mean, the duck must be 10 quid worth. Uh, the coin... That I found for you, that I broke broke my duck on. Yes. It's got to be worth 15 quid. So you've got like 25 quid there. Mm -hmm. oh. oh! Oh! Ah, do I need oh. athletics? Do I need athletics? No, you don't. Do you I? Def no, you don't because you've got a spare in oh, your have I? book for me. Damn. Yeah. Damn it. So I'll just go through and we'll have a little, little exam, examination of that one. Because we've got it's it's a, it's oh the suffragettes as well. Oh nice! What is the chances of having them two in the same bag? Yeah. <laughs> they are two low mintage coins in the same bag. That's a Christopher Ironside. That is not low mintage. That's for sure. That's fifty p. So the suffragette is lovely and it's in lovely condition as yeah. well. Worth anything from one pound fifty upwards. Yeah. 
Maybe it's even a bit more with it being in such nice condition. 2003, definite plum. And this one, Olympic coin, nice condition. 2011, it's the 2009 version everybody wants that because it's designed by a Blue, Blue Peter winner. Florence, is it Florence Jackson, Jackson. designed it? Yeah. And uh, there was a version released in 2009. And even in circulated condition, you'd be looking at, you know, around about the 150 mark maybe. So always worth a little look to see if you can find that 2009. So, yes, honestly, we are mm. honestly we are having some luck, aren't that's we? Public library. Unbelievable that's a, that's a luck. Even. That's a, uh, this one is a um, Battle of Hastings. Not in very nice condition, that one. I don't know why I put it down there, but it's down there. It's down there in the plum <laughs> fine section. Mm -hmm. Panicking. Put it down there for? I don't know. There's another Christopher mm -hmm. inside. I'm finishing out my bag here. Right. Finishing my bag so in the blaze there. of glory. Oh, oh, there's a Peter Rabbit. I think I did. I see Peter Rabbit through the bag when I said I, there was a cheeky coin over there in the last hunt. I can't remember. Sure. Anyhow, yes, Peter Rabbit, tail, yes. tail thereof. Ooh, exciting, exciting, exciting. Yes, I do have oh, yes, athletics. Do you have? Do you have athletics? No, you do not, Lady M. So I've got, and do you see I've got, have I got a spare as well? There's a Team GB, another one. Do I have a spare athletics in the book? Sure you do. I do. You're right, I found, I've found athletics three times now, Lady yeah. M hasn't found it. So, so yeah, that'll just have to get Three. squirreled away in the old, uh, in the old collection, Lady M. Three. Right, let's get the plum find, front and centre, and let's just drink. Let's just drink it in, but I'm going to honourable mention, ooh, oof. I think I'm going to honourable mention suffragettes. I think. What do you think? What's your honourable mention out of the two? Suffragettes. Suffragettes. So two honourable mentions anyway. An Olympic and a suffragette in lovely condition. But the plumage, the top plumage, 2016. Jemima Puddle Duck. There she is in all her glory, with a little bonnet on there. Ten quid's worth of coin. I like the look of it. Do you? Mm -hmm. I do like the look of it. Always nice to find her. Sensational look. Sensational look. Please do subscribe. For a like on the video, leave a comment, go back to some of our other videos. Really appreciate all the good stuff that you do for us. Right, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Oh, so will Lydia.